special. That's what you wanted to say, right? Oh, I wanted to say we're unusual. <laughs> your, your mom might have said you're special. Occasionally. Occasionally. Sometimes when you went crazy. Let's start the game. Just jump right into it. We have Zulog. Woo! I'm, I'm hyped to see Zulog. <laughs> This is if if you see Handlock, Merkel, Rogue all day long so for a change. So what do you what do you think? Is, is this the game matchup gonna take longer than seven turns? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, I especially, say no. Especially when I see Innervate on the Druid, that just makes it so more potent. With and he is second. The That's Zulok true. the Zulok has so much advantage if he goes second. He can drop two minions, go instant knife jogger, or something like that. At the moment, there's just a young priestess for Sixen. And Sixen's it draw is not really good. And if we see coin hero ability, that young priest is already dead. Then he has a Rast to follow up. Turn three, innovate Druid of the Claw. This is just crazy good for number guy, draw wise. And look, look, look at his hand. So there's a young priestess and an Argent Squire. Argent Squire is good. Okay, yeah, I, I admit. That's it's useful. Good, especially with a Shattered Sun Cleric. So it's getting only better for Sixen here. But still. We just have we just have a turn two if white grows even so this is this is just crazy we we gonna have a turn two innovate druid of the claw maybe and w what is Dixon gonna do against that I mean double double shattered sun it's okay but he's not gonna kill no he's not gonna kill that druid of the claw I mean I mean really well, he's he's and, it, and the swipe. So ne next turn, it's not only Druid of the Claw taunted it up, there's a swipe follow-up. This is just madness. Yeah, he, he cannot kill him at all. You know, if he had a soul fire, that would just be 100% perfect. But now... Would, hmm, the question is... Direwolf Alpha? Instead of the buff-up? Well, I guess this is way better. So if, if he swipes now... That 3-2 that is not yeah. getting melted away. So the, I accept it. Wow! Keeper! This is this is just <laughs> this is just going so good for a number guy. He's drawing the perfect follow-ups. He could just keep her away the two two. And he has, which is ridiculous, blood mage stellna swipe. But soul fire. So gotta gotta say uh, his his two minions are going to die. And he has to wait one more turn for that play. So for soul stellna swipe, he could go for stellna's ras. Solnus Ras is one play I would say is okay. He even draws a card and then he can follow up. Doesn't or want to take the four damage. Well, it's okay. I mean, you, you mm. got the swipe, use the swipe, but I still think it's way better to wait a turn. Even with the Argus here, even with the Argus here, he would have killed the 5 5 with the swipe. Oh, oh even a Doom Guard, but th this is annoying. You, you kind of want to play your Argus first and then go yeah. for Doom Guard. But a as we know, I mean, it's Solnus. Rest card draw and Rest hero ability. Draw. Yeah, he, he can I clear the complete uh, board. Yeah, where's card draw is really important. And, and then he just takes one damage yeah, well it after it the armor buff. This is just perfect. I mean, he mm. there, there's a defender of Argus for number guy, but he's not going to play it. Not useful at all if you don't yeah. have any minion on the board. And if he plays Doomguard, he's going to lose two cards. I mean, wh what, what is oh, there going to come? Oh, yeah, if he plays Doomguard wow. now, he loses two defender of Argus. I mean, that's it that sucks hard. No value, Argus. That hurts. But he has to do it. Yeah, he he has to. But it's it's just stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's stupid. The word it's is goddamn stupid. <laughs> yeah, it hurts. I mean, there's a doom guard. So wh what is he going to do against a doom guard? That's just gonna hurt him a lot. Does he? Do you think he's gonna keep his wild cross? Yeah, obviously. Um, no. Nah, I mean, you you got you got your ancient of lore in your hand. You're potentially drawing some useful cards. He could have wild cross here. The good thing is he has a Savage Roar. So even if there's a Doomguard coming and hitting the face, he could Savage Roar it away. But wow, Young Priesthood, Argent Squire, and Defender of Argus. That's nice. Uh, it's really nice. That's a good for a lot move. Mm. Oh. But I, I, it, feel, it still feels uh, really good for Namba guy. I, I'm, I'm happy to see a Zulog. I still want the Druid to win. So I'm, I'm taking, I'm taking what? sides here. Yeah, that's mean to do. But yeah. two cards for a number guy now. Chill and Yeti, and another swipe. Wow. Even an empowered swipe possible, but I would say his Solnus is going to die. I would kill his Solnus. You really don't want to leave it alive. Wow, and an abusive sergeant. That's sad, since his 2-2 two, two 
can almost kill the 5-5. Five five. <laughs> well, but you got a Doom Guard. You can just charge in, kill it if you really want to. Still, this... this Do this you go for the phase up trade? This tricky question. I would kill the Selness. Nevertheless, Ooh. and even a soul fire. This is this how is much damage is that? Seventeen. Uh, Sixteen. Five, eleven, fifteen. So five plus four plus two 15. plus four, See? fifteen. Basic mass. Basic mass. We did it. Ch Ching. There's a five two left. It might just get swiped, or not might. Will just get swiped. And there is also the Kodo. And that's so, I mean, that's just ridiculous. You play a minion which killed instantly another minion. So Kodo, having one Kodo is so much value. Well, especially in rush decks. Not only in rush decks, it's also so strong versus armor smiths or accolade of pain because you're not dealing damage, you're just killing. And you could, some people play a Black Knight, some play a Kodo. And for example, in this matchup, you could have used both in the end. So you could have Kodoed one now and you could have Black Knighted. But it's often... As you say against the control warrior, you have a one four minion, you have a two two, you have a two even a two two frozen berserker and with a white crow. Two four. Yeah, two four frozen berserker and with a white crow, you just can you just can coin out your Kodo and kill that minion instantly. And also it makes you more versatile because you can play it against all the shame shaman totems or the spirit wolves, an early elemental like Yeah. There, there are so many cards you can actually use them against. And that's why Kodo is good to have. But only one. Two is just too much. Two is too much. He can deal... How much can... He can deal eight damage if he wants to. And you, you kind of need to play your Soulfire. Again, the situation. If you chop deck a Doom Guard now, you're screwed because you're going to lose your Soulfire. And even a Scenarius. Wow, this, this is going super good. He can go double Yeti if he wants to. I would have preferred the double Yeti and Hero Bloody play. I disagree. Well, <laughs> in a raid. Oh, <laughs> never ne mind. Ne never mind. Never said anything. He can still go double Yeti, trade with a 2 2, kill the 2 1. I would just kill as many minions as I can. And next turn, I mean, just he has go a for a roar. It, go for a roar. Win kill the him. game. But I would kill the 2 1. Uh, yeah, innovate, kill the 2 1. You, you don't need your innovate for the next turn play. The funny thing is, you could go roar. Well, next turn you could have gone Scenarius, Innovate, Roar. So you make everyone plus two, plus two. And then you go Roar. But that's just overkill. You don't need to do it. It's and just saying it's quite funny. It was a 4-4-4. Four, 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 uh, it was a 4-5-4-5 four, five, four, five, and a 3-3 three, three on the board. Oh, gee. Plus six damage from Scenarius and plus eight damage from Roar. That's game. And he, he's hoping for the ping. He uh, was really hoping for a ping on uh, Yeti to just so far away the Yeti. Well, it can, it can still happen. Enough. Wow, that was so oh. long. So he could have, he could have killed away the Yeti in the end. Uh, oh, double roar. So w would he have won with one minion and double roar? You would have. Uh, that would be four damage plus four plus mm, four. No. That that would be uh, four plus eight, 12. twelve. Thirteen damage would have been possible. Was yeah. only in the scenarios. Yeah. Trians, but this is a nine mana card. Well, with Innovate, you have always the potential. But still, like, barely any taunts. If you get the right card draw as a rogue, you win. If you don't, well, you lose. Agreed there with you. And as we see, Stixen has a Murder Rogue prepared for us. With King Mugla. Whoa, this is... This is wow. This is okay. This can still be miracle, but I'm that is uh, old school. I'm just blown away by Mukla. Yeah, we we saw it in Tempo Rogue actually. Oh, it was vanished, so he's not playing miracle. He's playing. Oh, that's let's call it the the hand rogue, but <laughs> it's your enemy's hand cards. You can just play something like Mukla. Give him two more hand cool cards. Light. Oracle. Cold Light Oracle, then stab something, uh, turn six, vanish, bring two, <laughs> like bring two to four minions back into his hand, and he's not going to predict something like this. What happens if he has ten hand cards? Just assume he has ten hand cards, and you play vanish. Do you just vaporize the board? Yes. Because they all get burned, right? Yes. Yeah. That's just that was exactly what I was expecting. Yeah. And Mukla is a 5-5 five five now. I mean, he can play Yeti. This is this is the funny thing about the deck. He can <laughs> Yeti, play Yeti. Innovate bananas. Innovate bananas. Potentially, it, it's it's not like even even here this he he gets a three four out, and you can just sap it away if you want to and deal five damage. This is just the the deck in itself is crazy. He could also backstab as a seven agent. Yeah. 
just kill it away. I think that's even better. Yeah, that's better uh, since... But, but if you do it, you should kill the 2-1 before he bananas it up again and innervates out his keeper. For, oh, it doesn't even need to innervate. So if he bananas the 2-1 up, he can just keeper it out. And he says, nope. It's probably... But yeah. I would have I would have backstabbed the small one to get out the SI. No, no, uh, to Van Cleef four four Van Cleef. But also you, you get a five two and a four four. It feels like better. Mm. Mukla is always tricky. It can turn out so bad for you or just super good. Mm. Banana up. Always important. Bananas. He can. Yeah, play SI7, just trade in. Yeah. Take three damage, that's fine for him. No, I mean, he gets a minion killed, he has a 3-3 three, three out, well but still there's a one innervate. What about yeah. card draw with this rogue version? I mean, we see the auctioneer. Well, you still run preparations and stuff. You can go preparation vanish also, just f earlier. So uh, preparation, you can go turn eight, auctioneer preparation vanish, for example. Um, there's still the possibility to do it there's like the deck is it works but it's well there's as, as I said there's a preparation I guess we might see auctioneer preparation set Sap. now yeah. mm, the annoying well I would do you think he's going to backstep first just to draw more cards well you could you could also backstep preparation sap Van Cleef just to get an 8-8 Van Cleef but you would drop your whole hand and, and you don't you don't didn't get draw any it. cards off and you yeah. really need to have some cards. I would you don't want to run out of options. I would maybe backstep first and preparation, just see what I get. Uh, I would play my auctioneer, backstep, see what then preparation, see what I get. And let's let's assume you get an eviscerate after your prep. Would you use your eviscerate to kill the Yeti and keep your sap? Or would you rather go for sap and force him to play a four mana minion again? Because what do we know what does a druid have? What does he have? Like you know it's mid range, okay? So there is no real big minion coming up, like a six, seven, eight mana. Like the biggest thing is Ancient of Law. Okay, he plays. You don't want to sap that. Yeah, you 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 didn't want to sap Yeti also. Like you want to keep it for an Ancient of War if he maybe has one. Like there there could be also that one crazy minion. I know, like he didn't want to play his auctioneer unconcealed, but I still feel like he could have he could have mm -hmm. done it. Wow, innerate swiped. Not, not even decision. innerate swipe. He's double swipes in his hand, and now, like as you said, you don't want to you don't want to sap something that draws cards. So you could sap the Zudrake, but you're just gonna give him one more card draw. But who's the shadow step? So maybe go auctioneer preparation sap, and in the end shadow step him. I still. Would have gone for the auctioneer last turn. I, you played a set, you played a backstab, and there was one easy card to be drawn. You would have had your shadow step by now. I, I just feel it was it was a waste to not. Uh, like one card. The problem is, he he has no damage, no option. Oh, he shadow steps it immediately. Oh. Well, this that's interesting for next turn. He can play him for three. And then, well, not only for he now is the potential of auctioneer preparation banished since he's on seven mana. That's something that could happen, or not. But <laughs> even for even oh really? even for two minions, it's worth it. I mean, you you vanish two minions and you vanish the auctioneer back in your hand, so you, you're getting the auctioneer to play. But the problem is he's dropping lower and lower. Like, he has no damage on the board. And he already used a Shadow Step. Like, how, how is he gonna kill Number Guy? Well, he could... Deadly Poison up. Kill the... Or attack the 4-4, four four for example. Blade Flurry? Yeah, Blade Flurry. Preparation Blade Flurry to get Unconcealed. If he even has Unconcealed. So we do not know in this version for sure if there's a Conceal running. But first of all, go Preparation. Oh, there's. Oh, I never. I never said anything. Wow. So just consider right off the point here. The main problem is you get six damage against you with a with a roar. For example, with a roar like Druid of the Claw roar. Now that would be four, eight, ten plus another eight. That would be eighteen damage and would be dead. What? Eighteen? If, well, if he has a Druid of the Claw plus a roar. 
<coughs> that would be 18 damage in total. Just melting away everything yeah, you have. If he doesn't clear. Yeah, so uh, you, uh, you need to clear, but but still, there's there's a 2-1 on the board. and it's, it, it sounds stupid, but it's 2 damage. And Ragnaros. Now he's looking super... If, if, if the 4-4 four four gets hit here by Ragnaros, this is just super sad. Even if not... Yeah, if he hits a phase, he's just going to swipe. It's swipe next turn. And there's no way on Earth he sticks and can come back. Yeah, this is this looks like, like, like there's just no way. Number of guys going to crush sticks in here. That's going to be the 2-0 for innovation. This match is just no one wants to play best of three. If you're winning, you're just crushing your enemy. <laughs> it brings him down to two, and this is this is just GG for Number guy. He won the game here really good. Stixon's version was interesting. Have to admit that, but in the end, maybe maybe that set play in the middle. Where he didn't, de where he okay, didn't. Okay, wait. He can first of all. You're gonna shift the two one, or just play flurry. Yeah, but Fennel like, like he doesn't know there's a. Or like you sap it, yeah. and you have to play another minion. So you you want to have two targets for. Yeah. A second auctioneer. This is just crazy if you get two out. So now you're gonna play the SI and cold blood because, what? You yeah, need you a minions, dude. Well like we we know it's over because this is white, but let's just assume we didn't knew it. Maybe you should he should play as I seven just to have two targets. That would be one out of three. That's just a correct and play. And cold here. blood. And cold blood. Just deal the damage you can as long as you can. I mean he, he would drop down to eighteen, and you get a cold light. So next turn you're on nine mana. There would be potential of getting Leroy and going extremely crazy. Well, not anymore. Number guy just going to swipe. And he even drew a uh, white growth, so he could have drawn one more card. It's just good. Uh, burns his face away. GG. For